Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mike McCarville. This is McCarville Studios, and we're going to build a Berkshire Valley Models kit. Now, this is a kit that uh, has come out recently, and I want to thank Richard Rance for allowing me to build this kit and uh, go through this. Um, this is called the Tell House. Now, we're going to do the HO scale version. This is uh, kit number 2022 in HO scale. Um, there's a couple other scales, uh, HO, or HO, S, and O, I believe. Um, so if you're curious and you want to check some of those out, um, uh, I will leave a link down below. So this is a building that sat in the uh, town of Telluride, Colorado. And it originated as a project that uh, came from a Library of Congress photo. And I will um, add a link to that as well. Um, and it's a black and white photo, and actually I'll put that in the video here in a second. Um, but uh, it's a interesting structure. You can see the photo on the right-hand side there. It, According to the instructions, it looks like the main house was built, and then uh, there was an apartment added upstairs, so they put a side entrance. I found a really fuzzy photograph of this structure, that it looks like the uh, that stairwell that goes up on the right side that was actually exposed, and then later they covered it. Um, it could have been a different building, but it looks exactly the same, and it's got a very unique roof line. So um, we're going to go through this kit build one step at a time, so you can kind of follow along. Now I do deviate from the instructions on this because when I got to this point and I was looking at how I wanted to put the kit together. I decided what I wanted to do is I wanted to paint it and then uh, weather it a little bit on the outside of the structure all at the same time. And the instructions in the beginning state that uh, it's a good idea to paint or stain all the pieces to begin with, which would be really good for warping. Um, but in this case, I decided that I was gonna go ahead and kind of unify the whole structure of this one color, paint the, all of the siding, and then put the roof and uh, doors and windows and steps, etc., on. So um, keep that in mind as you're watching it, but the instructions are very clear. Um, you do go through in, in major sections where you go through, do walls, then doors and windows, then the roof, then the stairs, then the tarp paper, and then there's some final details. Um, so follow that, but I'm going to deviate a little bit on this, and I'm going to go kind of do my own thing. Um, and it just makes painting the entire outside of the building easier. Either way, it's not wrong. Read the instructions, understand what each where each of the parts goes before you start and you'll have a great looking kit. I like the colors here. Um, I chose different colors just so that you can kind of get a idea of what two different colors look like. So let's jump right into it and then uh, we'll take a look at the finished product at the end. Okay, guys, this is going to do it for this episode. Um, I did double check, and it is an HO, S, and O scale kit. So check out the link below for the Berkshire Valley Models uh, website. Um, and I also want to thank Richard for allowing me to do this. Um, 
We had a lot of fun talking about this kit in a uh, recent train show when he was in Denver and look forward to seeing him again in the Narrow Gauge Convention here in Denver in September. Uh, 2023, that is, because I don't know when you're watching this. So um, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks again, Richard, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.